Today, I have a great demo for you on the force of static friction. Let me start with a simple case. I place a single sheet of paper inside a book and apply a force. Once that force is big enough to overcome the force of static friction, it's going to slide out of the book. Now, what happens in the case where I use 150 pages? In order to accomplish this, I'm gonna recycle these two college catalogs. I've drilled a couple holes in the books, added some wooden bindings and some rope that I'm gonna to use to try to pull the books apart. I then interweave the pages of the two books, one page at a time. This creates friction that will hold the books together. The more pages that are interweaved, the greater the friction force. It took me about 10 minutes to interweave all the pages of the catalogs. It's now time to head to the lab and see how much force is required in order to pull these two books apart. The two books are suspended from a metal stand. To determine the pulling force required to pull the books apart, I use lab masses and hooks that I fix on the rope of the lower book. Each of those large masses is 500 grams. I have to say that I was rather surprised by this result. Some of the pages seem to be barely touching each other, yet the system is still in static equilibrium. The hanging weight got so large that I had to reinforce my stand using some yellow rope. I eventually ran out of large masses and hooks, but I did find this 10 pound bowling ball that I fixed to the system. Remarkably, it's still not enough force to pull the books apart. I found two extra kilograms, but even this wasn't enough to pull the books apart.